What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be doing a review of the Spyroco Delica. And I know what you're thinking, why are you doing a Delica review when there's already a million videos on YouTube about this knife? What more could be said? And uh, not much to be honest. I just wanted to get this on my channel so you could get a good look at it. Um, because this is the Spyroco Delica 4, but this is the Zome edition so that's the main reason I'm doing this video so you can get a look at this uh, color on it on the uh, handles there but I'm gonna go through the standard review process uh, it's gonna be shorter than the techno video for sure I'm gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes uh, the overall length is uh, 7.15 inches the blade length is 2.9 right at 3 uh, steel is VG10 that Spyderco likes to use. Uh, 2.4 ounces, so it's super light. And uh, it's got FRN handles. So if you want more specs than that, they'll be in the description. Uh, first, I was going to say these Delicas come in all kinds of variations. They got a lot of different colors. Uh, you can get them in stainless steel and other combinations, black blades. I think they make these in with the H1 steel too, I believe. But first, I guess we'll go ahead and take a look at this handle. This one of the main things I wanted to show. I don't know if my lighting's that great right now, if you can really see all the different colors. Um, I'm not going to go into the process of how they get this color. Some kind of Japanese something. Uh, I'll have it in the description how they make this uh, this color on these handles. Uh, I read it once; it was pretty interesting. But uh, one of the things I love about the Delica and the Endura is this. Uh, I think they call it bi-directional something. The way that these uh, this pattern on the handle is they all go up one way. And then they go up the opposite way on the other side, and it, it gives you a really good, really good traction when you're if, if you're gripping the knife hard, so, so your hand, fingers won't slip when you're grabbing it really hard. And I thought it was, uh, you know, pretty cool. Sorry about my camera shaking. I'm having issues today, as usual. I will be getting a nice tripod eventually. Um, all right, what else? Oh, ergos of the handle are great. Super comfortable, no hot spots. Um, like I, I have medium-sized hands, and I can get a full grip with a little bit of extra on it. So I would definitely prefer this over the Endura. Um, the clip is four-way positional. Um, it's the the regular black uh, painted clip. Um, but the Delica is very lightweight um, it does have some liners it has some nested steel liners I'm not sure if you can see that in there so it's not just FRN that's uh, keeping the handle together it does have some steel liners in there um, it is a lock back and it's got this little cut out little divot right there for your finger um, we'll come back to that in a second. The, uh, let's look at the blade. It's a thin blade, really good slicer. It ain't real thick. It slices great. Uh, he says VG, Spyroco VG10. Seki City, Japan. No complaints with the blade shape for me, full flat grind. And the, let's look at the action. So it's a lot back, so it's got some tension, you know, to get it, to get it up. Um, it ain't gonna be like a paramilitary or something when it, when you open it. But it, for a lock back, it's it's pretty smooth. It ain't that bad. Um, the lock up, uh, mine has a little bit of side to side, no up and down play. Um, the closing on this one is uh, good. After I had it 
got it broken. It uh, closes easily. Like, let me see. It's hard to do it on camera. Normally, I just flick it forward like that. It's easy to close. Sometimes, if I just push it, not even flicking it, it'll just close. So the closing is good on it. Uh, centering. Let's see. Mm, might be a little off. It's all right. So the Elkas, they go for around sixty to seventy dollars, depending on what kind you get. Um, I'm actually selling this one, or it's sold already. I uh, about to be going to the post office to drop it off. But the reason I'm selling this is, well, before I say that, I'm just going to give an overall impression. It, Delica is an awesome, lightweight EDC knife, just like everyone else says. It's great. All right, but the reason I'm selling this one, is, I think this is my second Delica I've had. Sorry about the neighbor's dogs, too. Uh, is because I got this other Delica right here. This is the Titanium Damascus Delica. My wife got me this for anniversary. I told her just to uh, pick out a Spyderco. She asked me what I wanted for the anniversary. I told her just to pick out a Spyderco for me. This is the one she picked all by herself, so which is pretty awesome. And so uh, I'm going to sell my Zome Delica and get it, you know, so I can have more of a variety in my collection. But that's the main reason I sold it, and I'm going to do a video on this one too sometime. Uh, I'll do some size comparisons. First, I'll show you the. I looked up the specs on these, and I think the it said that the uh, titanium one is just slightly shorter, but pretty much everything else is the same other than weight. Uh, this is like a half an ounce or so heavier because of the full titanium handle but uh yeah do a quick shot of that i love that damascus but i'll be doing a video on this sometime let me do some other size comparisons uh never done a video on this guy the little dragonfly little brother to the Delica there. This G10 version is awesome. Um, what else? I always do the Skyline for some reason. They are pretty similar. Um, what else do I got? Throw in this guy, the HK Mini Axis. Um, they're pretty comparable. I, d I, would, I do prefer this knife over the Delica. Uh, but I have, an I have another video out on this. Alright, but that's pretty much it. Um, just wanted to give a quick look at it before I send it off. Um, not really much else to say about it. Uh, it's a great knife, and I've, this is probably the second or third one I've had, so they're cool. All right, well, I kept this video under 10 minutes, like I tried to do. So y'all have a good one, and I'll see you later.